Sega. Hey there, folks. Ready for something a little bit different? There's no giant robots or child soldiers. It's actually pretty surprising for this game. So it totally could have done it. Well, anyway, welcome to Anime World War II. This game was actually suggested to me when I was looking for new games to play after I was done with Gundam last month. Um, but this was a PS3 game at the time, so I hadn't. I don't actually own a PS3 or a capture card, but I'm going to buy one in about a month. So, I didn't have any chance to play this, but I was going to buy this then, or after I bought a PS3, but that never happened. So anyway, this is Valkyrie Pro uh, Chronicles. This came out on Steam on Tuesday, I believe? And, but they had the pre-order and uh, pre-download since last Friday. I hadn't actually heard this game was coming out on Steam. I had looked at uh, my Steam on Friday right before I got on the plane as, yeah, just because. I needed to check something before I left. And, um, I found this. And I had had this suggested to me before, so... And I had played bits of the second game a few years ago when it first came out. So I'd actually liked this series. And when I saw this, I bought it immediately, started pre-downloading it, and figured out how to play it with behind the pre-download. Like, I ran Valkyrie EXE and it worked. I don't know if that was a bug or not, but... Yeah. So... Since this is before the first version, there might be a couple of bugs. Uh, but I'm assuming that, like, day one patch or whatever they're going to do will fix a lot of them. So, basically, this is World War II using anime characters. Um, they don't directly call it World War II, but it's in Europe. It's a war between an empire and a allied federation of democracies. Yeah. So, no giant robots, but a couple of anime things. Um, uh, well, first of all, I'm gonna, this is the options menu, none of this is important, this is all aiming, it's really annoying, turn subtitles on, because why not, and then, um, for language, they actually give you a choice between English and Japanese, it doesn't change the default language that the whole game's in, this is just the spoken language, and since mainly what I do on my channel is in Japanese. I'm leaving this in Japanese. Plus, I like the Japanese voice acting a little bit more than the English one. The English one kind of got on my nerves, but uh, the subtitles are kind of bad compared to the Japanese version. The Japanese people say a little bit differently, and I find it hilarious on certain scenes. So I'm leaving it in. Um, this is the first time I've played through this. Like, I haven't beat it, 
before I played the first level to make sure it recorded well. Um, how this works on Steam is when you first run it on Steam, there's two pop-ups, which is the actual game and the configuration. I won't show you the configuration because recording is a pain in the ass. But um, you have a choice between running on 30 FPS uh, or 60 FPS, and you can turn VSync on and off and a couple of other things. <coughs> Actually, you run it at refresh rate, and my monitor's at 120, so if I were to have run it at 120, this game would run at four times speed. It's really trippy. So, I'm actually recording this at 30 FPS with V-Sync. Um, the art style just looks all, like, hand-drawn, because that's the art style. I really like it, though. Um, so, that being said, um, I'm warning you this now. This game runs at 60 FPS with V-Sync on, on my laptop, which is made in 2006 and old as hell and still running Vista. So, a lot of smaller channels and mid-level channels on YouTube are going to be playing this. I've, it's, it hasn't even been out for a day yet, and I've already seen about five episodes. And also, um, so, everyone's going to be playing this. And this game is made by Sega. So, if you watch this video and then a few days later it disappears and I never talk about it again... That's because Sega told me to take it down and offered a DMCA, which Sega tends to do depending on which studio they give you. So if this game disappears, I'm sorry, but if this goes for a week and doesn't get a copyright claim, uh, next week I'll try recording two or three episodes and just post all those. and They'll be fairly long. This one will only be about 20 minutes. This is the first tutorial and the opening cutscenes. It's not all that exciting, but you should watch them anyway, because why not? So, we are going to start the game. Um, how this game works is they have cutscenes as different episodes, and you have to go through them, and um, after a cutscene, it's like, pick another episode. You click down an A, and it goes to the next cutscene. I'm just going to cut those transitions out, because they serve no point besides saving. Which, I guess, if you were playing this on a PS3, that would work, but this is a computer, so it's a lot better. Yeah, and that being said, this is a port, not an emulator. This is an actual Steam program. You can get it for 20 bucks on Steam right now. Um, you can get a discount if you own another Sega game, I think. I got a couple of coupons that I never used. Or I never used, but they expired on... They'll expire on Friday, which I will be gone till next Saturday. So I can't really send it out to anyone. I'm sorry. But yeah, so... Uh, you can get this for 20 bucks on Steam. It's actually a pretty good game. It's the full $60 game and all the DLC. Uh, and all runs really well. It's a good port. So far, I haven't seen any major bugs. But I could be wrong. I'm only recording like 20 minutes now, so I won't be able to point out any major bugs and laugh. So anyway, let's start the game. Yes.西暦1935年ヨーロッパ大陸は東西2つの大国によって分断されていたすなわち皇帝を頂点とした先制君主国家東ヨーロッパ帝国連合と欧西を廃した共和国国家の連合体大西洋連邦機構である鉱物資源
Yeah, so this is what I meant by transition. This is literally like, oh yeah, press A and you begin. But one other thing I want to point out because I just noticed. We are a principality and there's a federation. And there's also Russia, Germany. They act like the Germans and yet they're the population or the area of Russian. Of Russia. I can't pronounce things today. So, yeah. We're... We side on the side of the Principality, and we might be fighting either the Federation or the Titans. Yes. Last playthrough all over again. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. I'm making a really, really general uh, connection. Yeah. I'm just going to continue this now. I can't talk today. セレキ この道を通るのも3年 動かないで。ゆっくり両手を上げなさい。見かけない顔ね。名前は僕の名前はウェルキン。君たちは我々はブルールの自警団の者です。私は文隊長のアリシア。最近帝国のスパイがうろついているという情報があって。見回りをしてたんだけど。信じてもらえると嬉しいんだけど、僕は単に魚のスケッチをしていただけで。魚のスケッチね。このご時世に結構ですこと。その話の続きは詰所でゆっくりと聞かせてもらいます。拘束しな
今は首都の大学で学んでいるんですこれからは自分も誰かに観察されているかもしれないってことを覚えておくよ<笑>純正よみんな体を低くしてあそこだ Wolfen's Den grenade. Think about it. Verki, Jew, I'll tell you. Ah, Gunji Kuren, the Naratic Takarane. Take you also, take us to the Shoni Zubutan. I just take it as much. Wakata. We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Bruel. Bruh, I don't know. We deploy from here and take all three of them. Scouts are stupid if they only have three people. Just cross the bridge and take down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. Not gonna happen. Okay, so we can't get killed, and we have to do this in 20 turns. I can do this in two, maybe three if I fuck up. Okay, but just before we actually start, something I want to point out. We have a girl calling us Nissan, we're working for the Principality. We're not blonde, but we're kind of blonde. So, we need to give her a bar of gold and run the fuck away. Well, actually, a thing of gold which he should never have been able to carry, but space, so who gives a crap? Anyway. Yeah. He had like a dozen bars in there. Oh, and don't worry if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm just making references again. Okay, so basically what happens is to control a unit, we have to give up one of those metal things up at the top left called command points, basically. Um, I assume the bigger our army gets, the more we get, but for now, using an infantry costs us one. And we can't let these guys get killed. So, first thing we're going to do... Uh, this is a long, extended tutorial. Um, I've done this already, so I know what to do. But basically, you run up to them and shoot them, and you can take cover. Um, most objects count as cover, including the bridge that's over there. That bridge, both sides of it's an invisible wall. So we're going to use that. You can't actually take cover behind anything but sandbags, which I find stupid. And headshots do help out, but really, right now, we can't really get a good one, so our accu either our accuracy sucks, or we have to get really close. So yeah, I'm using a controller, if I haven't mentioned it before. So basically, you shoot them in the back, and you hurry up so he doesn't shoot you first. And we, lo we missed all but the last two shots. And he only hit us once, which is good. Um, if we don't end our turn, he'll just keep shooting at us, and we'll take damage every time we get hit. And they shoot a lot better when you're not shooting at them. I don't know why, but if we use somebody else, they'll start shooting at that other person. So, um, I can't see how you lose anyone in this battle. Literally, they do five damage, and most of your characters have over 200. Whoops, wrong trigger. So, we are going to shoot you in the face. That's a headshot. I wasn't actually expecting that. So, yeah, we're going to move her. Yeah, we're going to stand up anyway. Behind this tree, so they can't see us. It tells us about using cover when we see the other sandbags. But I already tried that. It's a tactical game, after all. I've played enough SOCOM to know to hide behind shit. 
yeah, so we're hiding behind the tree, because if they try shooting at us, they'll either hit the fence, which is an invisible wall, or the tree, which is also an invisible wall, but it's vertical, so it's not as good. Then we're going to use generic guy number one, or number two. Um, basically, these guys have no fa have no name and no face, yet we just watched one guy we possibly have known our entire lives die, and no one gives a shit. Oh, and, yeah. We're all, this guy's also really good at shooting, like... It's kind of ridiculous. We just hit five times at this distance. Remember before when we missed twice, like ten feet away? Yeah. And so we're going to get behind the tree as well. Eh, we're just going to end it here. They can't actually see us. Because, you know, they're just guns. They don't go that far or anything. And yeah. You run out of CP, you end your turn, basically. I assume we get more as the game goes on. I remember having like five or six of them. But. Yeah. Oh, and occasionally if one of our guys sees them, we can shoot at them. But they're so far away that it doesn't really matter. And he's still in the back behind the bags. Oh, and he's out in the open. Hopefully he stays out in the open. Hmm. Oh, and. Yeah, I'll point that out next turn. Yeah, that guy's going to move. And if you didn't take out that first guy in the beginning, he would have moved. But if you shoot at them, they stop. And they don't shoot at you. So, it's fine. Yeah. You only have a limited amount, so you shouldn't have people run in the middle of firefights, shoot at people, and then just stand there. Uh, yeah. Um, something I just want to point out right now. We're using, what, Carbine Lee Enfields? We are so totally working for the Allies, it's ridiculous. And they're using Car 98s. Like, they don't even hide it. It's literally the Zar Car 98. Oh, and we also have unlimited ammo, so getting people to waste their ammo doesn't really matter. Whoops. And we shot the tree in front of us. Because we can't shoot beside a tree. Oh well. Uh, our health doesn't matter, so I'm not even going to try to save it. We'll take out at least one of those guys this turn, and we might be able to take out the other one, too. Anywhere he moves on his turn, um, he's going to get shot at by all three of us, basically. And this guy, I'm just going to have him run. I'm going to have him shoot him in the back, and then... Or, I keep clicking the wrong trigger. Oops. Yeah, hey, we have one in two turns. Yeah. We get a EXP and money for this, even though we don't really deserve it. And later we'll be able to buy better weapons, I believe, with the money. But anyway, that'll be the end of this episode. If you guys actually see this, that'll be awesome. And if this disappears after you see it, I'm a I apologize. But I don't blame <laughs> blame Sony, not me. Please. Now I'm going to save because I haven't actually done that in this game yet. Oh. My god, it's literally the PS2 or the PS3 saving system. It's a really good port since it works, but damn. Anyway. More will be coming out next week, or not. Goodbye.